Design School at IIT Bombay is well pleased to tap into the research and technology strengths and come up with innovative solutions. We present to you some of our achievements ranging from creating livelihoods for bamboo craftsmen to designing electronic coating machines. Text input in Indian languages has been generally been pretty poor. Uh, India is perhaps one of the uh, lowest per capita text input uh, amongst all the countries in the world. So our languages receive the le least of text input compared to all other languages. Swara Chakra is one of the um, products that actually turned out to be the best amongst our evaluations for touchscreen devices. So we la launched it on the Android platform. Um, currently uh, Swara Chakra has more than 7.5 lakh downloads across 12 Indian languages. Um, and it gets about 2,000 downloads a day, fresh downloads a day um, currently. So in most Indian languages, very often a vowel follows a consonant and it forms a different shape or a different glyph. And people f struggle to put the vowel uh, after the consonant. Uh, so what, you, what Swara Chakra does is when you touch a particular consonant, it shows a chakra of vowels around that consonant. So all the user has to do is drag his finger in the direction of the desired vowel. Uh, so that's one thing it does. The other thing that it does, it shows a preview of conjuncts. Conjuncts are particularly hard for people to type in Indian languages. So when the user selects, so the, one of the options in the chakra is to select a conjunct. So when the user selects the conjunct for a particular consonant, that consonant appears um, in conjunct with all the other consonants as a preview. And then you can select that uh, conjunct or you also can add vowel modifier to that consonant. The major problem was that we have to make it a product which is simple to operate because it was earlier a steel box in which people used to just put votes. Now it's an electronic voting machine. Now we wanted to remove that fear of the machine first. So it was made into a simple operative box which is as simple as TV. So this was our major achievement, what we have achieved. So in that process, we redefined the security in terms of not just steel and all that, but in terms of visibility, where we lock each part and where we seal each part in front of everybody. And I think uh, one of the big reasons it has stood the test of time till now, it works even now perfectly well, is because of this. People can, you know, slowly have been able to trust the system and of course, it, it gave all the advantage of having an electronic system. Like it saved time. Uh, elections can be declared in a jiffy at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't take time to do that. I noticed on the streets of Mumbai that the post boxes are rusted and the doors were dilapidated. And I imagined that the letters would be surely spoiled. It was a shame that design could not make a difference in such an important product of the country. This made us take this project at IDC IIT Bombay and I and I, uh, and I and my students visited the post office and met the chief postmaster general who gave us this one line brief of designing a maintenance free post box. With this input we came up with this new design of maintenance free post box which is made up of stainless steel and using contemporary manufacturing processes and also having this very very interesting and user friendly feature of a common key for the complete locations and easy posting slot and this became very successful and popular and the India Post has launched it now all over the country. Bamboo is the fastest growing biomass. Whole world was interested there is an organization called INBAR, International Network for Bamboo and Ratan. They are all interested to look at bamboo. We have a tradition, 13.5 lakh people work in bamboo craft in India and they have already the traditional skills. Now other challenge was, how do we upgrade the skills? So we introduced tools, molds and working methods. We had workshops in the villages, more than 30 to 40 workshops we did all over the country. So how do we reposition the bamboo craft into a modern context, into a contemporary markets? This has been one challenge and all our designers got very excited because it is a challenging thing and very western students, many western students come here to participate in my elective on bamboo craft.
ONGC and NID approached me and asked me to design this next generation petrol pump because I had this experience of designing petrol pumps for the last two decades starting from the Z-Line petrol pump which is very popular in the country and it mimics a dance form uh, and the bullet dispenser which actually mimics a Nokia phone and that also is very very successful and popular. So we started this work together as a collaborative innovation project. So through this collaboration, we actually developed a very interesting uh, petrol pump which is user friendly and also has this handheld terminal where the driver can see the display in front of his eyes by moving it to his close proximity as well as side flow indicator where you can see the flow of petrol and you get to know how much petrol you're getting. So this pump was an overall good looking oval pump which was well appreciated all over the world. When I started to uh, design the rupee symbol, I had uh, done a lot of research uh, trying to understand how currencies have evolved in, in our country and what kind of symbols and uh, icons were used on the coins right from the Kanishka period to Gupta period. And uh, I also studied a lot of Indian imageries and because one of the brief given was uh, that the symbol should uh, reflect the Indian tradition, the culture and uh, ethos of our country and since our country is a multicultural a con uh, multicultural uh, society and where there are so many languages so many scripts so many uh, uh, varieties of people so I, I wanted to create something which unifies all of them and try to make a symbol that addresses everybody and uh, a symbol for a common man and that was again was my objective so what I did was try to incorporate the Devanagari script uh, the letter R which is kind of an abbreviation of Rupiah and I also did a blend the Latin script which is uh, the English capital letter R so the symbol is kind of an abbreviation of both the Devanagari script as well as the La Latin script R for Rupiah and R for Rupees so both the way it kind of denotes the Indian currency the reason to incorporate or blend both the script is to give it an universal appeal because it is also going to be used by the international audience so I want everybody to understand what the symbol stands for if you look at the top line and also the line which cuts across the letter if you combine these, uh, the space in between them will kind of give you a tricolor flag an abstract uh, symbolic representation of our flag because the flag is the only element which is not biased towards any of this region, culture or religion or creed and so on and so forth because it is something which every Indian will uh, be proud of and it kind of represents every Indian. Mumbai Rail Map is a project by our students. It is the first usable, colorblind friendly and a complete rail network map of Mumbai. Rail map is not a product. It is the missing infrastructure that the Mumbai city needs.